Hello, I'm Austin Jarrett from Allet Mowers. Today I want to look at a frequently asked question. What is the difference between a Kensington 20B and a Buckingham 20H? On the surface of it, these are just two lovely Allet Mowers that mow 20 inches wide. But there's quite a difference in price between these two machines. And in fact, this machine is more than twice the price of the Kensington. So what are the reasons for that and how are they justified and how can I help you in this short video to make sure that you buy the right machine and spend the right amount of money. But as an overview, this is really a semi-professional machine. It's, it's heavy duty and before you go to our professional football stadium machines, this is the step between the Kensington and uh, a professional product. But if you just want to look at the weight, this machine weighs in at 54 kilograms, giving a really great stripe on a 20 inch machine. But the Buckingham is twice that weight at 103 kilos. So even if you just want to look at the amount of steel and engineering that's in the Buckingham, you're getting twice the amount. We recommend that the Kensington is for lawns as a guide, about 350 meters and we're looking at 450 meters or so for this machine. It is faster uh, and it's a more robust machine because some of the, that recommendation is about making sure that the product lasts you a long time. So um, the smaller the area, of course, the, the longer the machine lasts. Both, both machines are cutting at about the same range. This one, if you want to put a micrometer on it, six millimeters minimum height of cut, 32 maximum height of cut. This one, minimum height of cut slightly less at five millimeters and maximum height of cut, 35 millimeters. So barely anything in it really. Um, these are not, neither of the machines are particularly low cut, cut, cut machines, but this might be if you do something about the cartridges that you decide to put into it. Both machines have nice, reliable engines. Uh, there's quite a difference in horsepower. You're looking at about two and a half horsepower on this, but this one's going up at six horsepower. And we'll talk about why we have that extra horsepower from the Honda engine on the Buckingham in a little while. So let's start at the beginning with the uh, grass boxes at the front, both made of the same polypropylene material, both the same thickness, both really robust. I'm not gonna stand on them and do my normal trick, but you get the idea. The capacity on the Buckingham, slightly bigger, 84 litres, and the, uh, the Kensington one is 70 litres. I, I like the fact that there's slightly smaller lips on the outside of this, so that when I'm emptying the grass box out, this one empties just that little bit more easy, but then this one has a nice handle on the top. Both uh, sit on extended hoops, this one folds away like so, this one folds away like so to give uh, both actually very similar footprints. Um, but then once I fold the handlebars up on this Kensington, it becomes a smaller footprint altogether. The front rollers on the machine, both very similar. I've got slightly heavier bearings, as you'd expect in the Buckingham. Uh, it's a slightly bigger diameter roller too, but they're both steel zinc plated and a pair of bearings. The height of cut changes on both of these machines. Actually, on the Kensington, it's more simple. Dial in the window on the side, and I can just screw this handle to wherever I need. No tools required. On the Buckingham, I've got a more robust system altogether, and I just actually need a half inch wrench or spanner to be able to back these off, and then I can turn this handle. Look at the Buckingham video, and you'll see that in action. Um, but this is, this is a much stronger system. This is a much easier system to use. So you'll, you'll see that that theme runs throughout the two products. The cylinders, both are six bladed cylinders and the clip rate, very similar, although slightly lower on, on the Buckingham. But the cylinders themselves, I've got slightly thicker steel on the cylinder of the Buckingham. Again, about durability and strength but the Kensington gives its absolutely typical, beautiful clip. One of the big and most significant things about the two machines is that the bottom blade on the Kensington is, uh, is just single, uh, special steel, heat treated, 
Same with this, not the same blade, and it's also bolted to a blade holder. So the whole cutting mechanism on this ends up being more robust, but the Kensington still gives years and years of service on a, on a, on a home lawn. The adjustment for cylinder to bottom blade is much more straightforward on the Kensington uh, and much more robust on the Buckingham machine. There's a rake on both machines. Uh, the rake at the back here just adjusts in a slot and we have a rake, very similar rake in fact, at the back here with, with a much stronger system again in the way that it's, it's uh, retained and adjusted on the mower. Both can be lifted completely out of work but the rake's always nice just to be raking in front of the cutting cylinder. The clips per metre are ever slightly different as I said I'm getting 73 clips per meter and 79 clips per meter but really that's a, that is a very small difference indeed. If you need higher clip rates on the Kensington you go for a 10 bladed cartridge and on this booking machine actually your option would be to go to the Westminster product so please look that up on our YouTube channel. Both heights of cut are stepless I can adjust them to exactly where I need them within that roughly 5 to 35 millimeter gap. When we move on to the engine choices that we've made for these two products, we are using the Briggs & Stratton XR550 engine, roughly 2.5 to 3 horsepower, uh, unleaded fuel, uh, 127 cc's. With the Buckingham machine, we've gone for the professional engine. So we fit this engine on our professional products. And this one is the GX220. Sorry, it isn't. It's the GX200. And that's 196 cc's. Again, unleaded fuel. Um, this engine is loved by professionals because time is money and you need these engines to start first pull and not give any uh, fuel issues at all. They are, of course, a lot more expensive and they are looking, you know, those engines, as a comparison, one is more than twice as much money as the other. Uh, both work on a recoil start and actually both are very reliable starters but quite a difference in, in the horsepower range there. Next it's about rear rollers and the rear roller on the Buckingham machine is heavy steel and on top of that we've bonded rubber and the bonded rubber is then ribbed as well which just gives amazing traction. So this machine easily drives over gravel and with the trailing seat on with a heavy operator will pull, uh, pull everything up a hill on a wet slope. That really does make such a great difference. The, both rollers are split so that when we turn at the end of the, of the run that we don't scuff the turf. Um, but you are possibly more likely to scuff the turf because of the traction grip that there is on this. Let's move to the Kensington now and the Kensington is a steel roller, no rubber coating but it does have the differential drive. And the differential drive in that machine, uh, um, the differential drive in that machine is a, is a lighter system than is within the uh, within the Buckingham. But the Buckingham doesn't have a differential; it has a ratchet drive system, so it's actually slightly less sophisticated. Hope I'm not confusing you on the choices on this. But this is a heavy-duty system that can really pull and transmit this larger engine horsepower to the traction and the Kensington uh, uh, system there doesn't scuff when it turns because it's so smooth but doesn't need to pull anything and when it comes over gravel you, you need to be a bit more careful about that. So the heavier handlebars on the, Ken, uh, on the Buckingham again you can see the way that this handlebar is braced to the main chassis by two rolled uh, section tubes. Uh, everything's much more heavy, comfort grip uh, and I can adjust the handlebars by moving a little lever. So that's quite an easy adjustment. I sometimes need to adjust that quite quickly if I'm using this in pedestrian mode and then move to putting the trailing seat on. On the Kensington, very similar setup, lighter gauge steel. This easily folds up, which the Buckingham doesn't. And again, it's all part of its robustness and the duty level of this is actually more aimed around comfort than anything else. I can adjust the height of this. I need to 
pull out this threaded bar and I have a series of holes where I can make that adjustment but it's not something you're likely to do after first delivery. So in the overview this is about uh, a couple of things really. This machine's much heavier if I've got a professional gardener or I'm just before professional level product, then certainly the Buckingham is the product range that, that I would go to. This is gonna last you years and is really strong and robust. In particular, if I take the optional trailed seat behind this product or its 24 inch or, 20, uh, or, or 30 inch uh, brother, then you've really got a serious piece of grass cutting equipment that is effectively ride on and highly maneuverable. The options on this are about the cartridges. Cylinder mowing is not the, the only thing that you need to do to create a really wonderful lawn. It's the cultivations. And as you know, the Kensington has a whole range of cartridges that go in for finer cutting, but also for cultivations. And that's where this product really wins. So not only is it half the price, but it's very much more versatile in giving you a homeowner's complete product to maintain the lawn. This is a dedicated mower with huge capacity, long life, and if you're walking behind this almost for a job, then this is the machine that you would choose. When the grass gets a little bit long, I have a, a wheel kit that I can fit at the front, but please see the Kensington video about that. And of course, the Buckingham does have its own product range video as well so please look that up too but you do have optional wheel kit that will go on the front in place of the front roller in case of long conditions long grass, grass conditions so i hope that gives you a rough overview and uh, it's helped you in your 20 inch decision thanks for watching visit our website at www.alit.co.uk